Well, that's right. We're right across the street from the sidewalk memorial that's been set up for 12-year-old Johnny Smith. He's the boy who was killed Monday uh, when he was struck by a car. And because of those locations that you mentioned, people living around here say there's a lot of foot traffic year-round, especially kids. You can see the vehicles. One woman we just spoke with described this stretch of Fort Apache as a racetrack, and they believe that a crosswalk here could have saved that boy's life. It shouldn't take a tragedy. We should be planning for a tragedy. This is, it's never a situation of if it's going to happen. It's a situation of when it's going to happen. Safety advocate Aaron Breen says these are the kinds of tragedies that can be prevented. It just takes people in the community to be proactive. Whether you live in the city and it's a city councilman or the county, such as this particular case, contact your county commissioner, your city council person, whoever that is. Um, with specific concerns. In this case, it's Clark County Commissioner Justin Jones who says he's already been in contact with the people living around Fort Apache and Arby. I've talked to several of the residents. I've talked to Metro and, and our people here in Public Works. And it'll take about six weeks to get the results from the traffic study. Uh, but we'll, we'll go from there in terms of planning for, for what we need for that intersection. That won't happen soon enough for some of our viewers on Facebook who weighed in on the tragedy like Stacy, who said they need to fix this now. The bus stop isn't safe either. Rosalind suggested a pedestrian bridge, which Aaron Breen says is probably not going to happen because of the cost and... You would have to block every way to cross the street except for using that bridge in order for the bridge to be successful. Because human beings, being who we are, we, don't, we, we view that as going out of our way, and we don't want to do that. I spoke with somebody in county engineering as, as to how long it would take to build a crosswalk here, assuming that it's warranted by the study. He refused to give me a time frame because it said, he said it all depends on what's needed here, so they'll have to kind of take it as it comes. Four to six weeks, though, on the study. Uh, there is a candlelight vigil that will be held in about a half hour to remember 12-year-old Johnny Smith. That'll happen at 6.30 at Fest Park, which is uh, right across the street here. Reporting live, Steve Wolford, News 3. Back to you. Oh.